hello everyone this is Bushan Wa welcome back to my channel the vital engineering this week we will do some modeling tips so without wasting a time let's move on so every designer should read the drawing carefully so first thing that every designer should do is to identify the origin and in this diagram, this point can define every single entity in Say this circle is 49 mm apart from that origin And this line is 57 mm apart from the origin And the rest is so on so forth So what we will do We will create the outer profile of this diagram Say this circle with a 22 radius this 49 mm line, this radius of 14 mm, another radius of 67 mm, this line with the 36 mm length, and this 57 length line. Start a new file. Make sure you're working with the millimeters. Start a new sketch on a front plane. Press O to start with the circle of a radius 22 mm draw a line from origin of a length 49 mm and should make an angle of 15 with the vertical axis make this line a construction line now create another circle of a radius 14 mm at the other end of the line now create a vertical line of 36 mm what a coincidence and make this line symmetric with the horizontal line should be 57 mm apart from the origin now create a couple of lines and make these lines tangent with the circle and also trim the unwanted curves Draw another circle of a radius 67 mm and must passing through this point and tangent to this circle. Now trim the unwanted part. Exit the sketch, start the extrude wizard, in limits select the symmetry and put 28.58 by 2. Here I am not sure that this extrude is exact 28.58 mm. So to check that, I will go into the analysis, select the simple distance, click on one face and click on another face and there it is, you got the right distance. If you don't have analysis on the screen, just right click on the toolbar, make sure you check the analysis. Now we will create these holes, say this hole with a 12.75 mm diameter, this with a 19.08 mm diameter and this slot of 12.75 mm. I will start another sketch on the same plane and draw few circles, concentrate with the last ones. So 
put the diameter 12.75 but it's showing 12.8 and you want it to be 12.7 so go into the setting text and increase the decimals now put the diameter 19.08 you will notice it's still showing single decimal in order to get permanently Go into the menu, preferences, drafting, dimensions, text, and decimal. You have to delete the older dimensions. Now create the close profile with a line. This should be 12.75 mm apart from each other. Exit the sketch. Extrude it symmetrically and select subtract boolean. Don't forget to hide the sketch. Start a new sketch on the same plane. Project these three curves. Draw a circle of a radius 19 mm. Draw a horizontal line and it should be 9 mm from the origin. Now trim the unwanted part. And exit the sketch. Extrude this sketch. And it should start with 16.58 by 2 and there should be not ending limit for it. Mirror this feature. Now create a datum with an offset at 8 mm from the back face. Start a new sketch on it. Simply create a rectangle. 
specify the distance from the edge that is 38 mm. Exit the sketch, extrude it by 30.39 mm. Hide the sketches and data and that's it. Now last but not the least tip is modeling should be made by the manufacturing point of view. So first we cut solid like this. Then we cut some holes in it and also cut some material. Same amount of material on another side and finally provides some slot. This is how it is going to be manufactured. That's it for the week. If you like this video, make sure you drop a like down below. Subscribe my channel if you haven't done already and comment down below if you have any questions. This is Bhushan Wag signing off.